Hi and welcome. Uh, this video is going to show how to make uh, the initial connection between uh, DTools SI2015 and QuickBooks. So, um, in order to do that, um, you're first going to want to go through into your QuickBooks settings, and we do cover that in another video. Uh, in this video, we're going to just demonstrate um, making that connection, making the two pieces of software talk together. So, uh, you're going to want to have QuickBooks open um, on uh, this machine that you're working from, uh, the one that's running the SI2015 client, and you're going to want to be logged in uh, as admin in single user mode. So that's important. Um, at least for this uh, initial connection, that's the case. It has to be done that way. After that, you don't have to be logged in single uh, user mode or as admin for that uh, matter. But what we'll do here is um, go to start, um, setup, and go to the control panel here. And in here, if you scroll down, you'll see that there are QuickBooks settings. We'll go ahead and double click this. Um, none of mine are set up yet. Again, we cover this in another video. So um, to make the initial connection, though, between the two pieces of software, what you're going to want to do is uh, browse to your accounting file by clicking this little button right here. And go ahead and find your company file. Hit OK. And now that that's mapped, um, go ahead and save the settings here. And now we're going to have to make the two pieces of software talk together. So uh, there's a couple ways you can do that, but the uh, easiest way is to go to your catalog. So go to catalog, uh, manage product, and um, go to the QuickBooks tab here. Um, now you could have also started here and just gone to QuickBooks settings via this button also, just so you're aware. Um, and what you're going to do is just select any item here in the list. Uh, we'll do something like this, and then click the Create button over here. And that's going to attempt to talk to QuickBooks. And what you can see here is that the QuickBooks application certificate popped up. Now, this might not automatically pop up on your machine. Uh, you may see it flashing down on your taskbar uh, over top of the QuickBooks icon since QuickBooks is running. Uh, this time, it just happened to pop up. Yay. Go ahead and click this. And um, if you have multiple users set up, which likely you do, uh, other than the admin, you'll need to... Uh, choose who to who you're going to allow the software to log in as and it has to be the admin so when you're looking at your list here choose admin um, and hit continue uh, hit done and that's made the connection now between the two pieces of software and what's happening right now is now it's attempting to create this item uh, we cover that in another video so i'm going to cancel out of that for now but now the two pieces of software uh, talk together and so what just happened in quickbooks if you come here and look under Edit um, Preferences, um, under Integrated Applications, Company Preferences, you'll see now um, here that Quick Links, or DTools SI Quick Links is um, now an accepted integrated application. You've allowed access to this. If you need to see the properties here or need to change those, or like maybe you forgot to set it as admin, click Properties and just make sure the top box is checked this middle box is checked and that it is set to log in as admin. And uh, that's it for the initial connection between the two pieces of software.